Hey YouTube, this is Rose, pretending the Rose. You can see Bobby up there trying to get my glasses and my hat and my ponytail. Like, always wanting to play. Always wanting to get into something. <laughs> did I get in trouble? I absolutely did. Let me tell you. But <laughs> Apparently Bobby thinks so too. He's like getting me a day. Actually, it's a girl. But the kids wanted to name her Bobby. So she's a Bobby. <laughs> You've been a good girl. There you are. <clears throat> but yes, I got in trouble. So I did an unboxing on one of my videos. I'm not going to say the company name. <laughs> but apparently they emailed my business. I did not have prior permission to do an unboxing of their videos or of their product. So I had to remove the video from my clay. Oh my. I'm always getting into trouble doing something. <laughs> First I get a copyright strike. First shout out. <laughs> Then I have to remove all my videos because I didn't have prior permission from the company. Now I know if you do an unboxing, you have to have prior permission. Or at least some companies anyway. So apparently they hire people just to watch out for YouTubers. Don't unboxings of their product and the thing was is I said all great stuff about their product absolutely love their product been buying it for years years <laughs> I have been doing this a long time probably about six seven years now I've been getting their product and I got in trouble yeah should have seen the letter I wish I could show that on YouTube. <laughs> but I'm always getting in trouble. One way or another. Yes, Bobby. I love you. I really do. But I don't need you in my face. Apparently, she wants to be the co-host today. And she wants to give lots of love. And I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out today. What's Max? Want to come be my co-host? You want to come be my co-host? No? You don't want to be on YouTube? Well, anyways, I'm going to make this a real short one today. My, my hundred days are almost up. i got to go and count them. <coughs> it's real a lot of extra shorts in there. My cousin Dina from Left Lane Finds is doing the hundred day video challenge Go check her out. She's got some good ones already. So, she has been working hard. I'm so proud of her. I want to see more people do it. It really helped me out. It triggered the algorithm. It really... Uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of people that came on. And I'm still getting people that's still subscribing. Some of them from my shorts... Some of them just from keep putting videos out there every day. So I'm going to keep doing as many as I can. But I got a 100-day celebration coming up here real shortly. And hopefully it gets done quick because my dental surgery is on the 16th. I'm probably going to be down and out for about three, four days. So you probably won't even see me for three or four days. And that's just for the bottom half. The top half gets done starting in the new year. I can't wait to get it done. I'm getting the implants. Bobby, yep. I'm not talking to you. No, I am talking to YouTube. I am talking to my friends on YouTube. All the people I love. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> Apparently, she was not happy with that. Come here. What do you got, what do you got going on? Why do you want so much loving today? Usually this cat avoids me. Because he's always trying to get the birds. All the time. One well, of these times I'm going to videotape him. Last time I found him hanging from the bird cage. Hanging there. 
And when I pulled him off the birdcage, he had feathers in his paw. Somehow, he got a hold of one of those birds. They're okay. All the birds are okay. They're all doing fine. But we gotta, we gotta take him downstairs when we get the birds out. They like to fly around the living room once in a while, and we don't need this guy chasing them down. So, he's doing really good. So, another one of the dogs is just got fixed. We're so happy. That's the last one. I swear to God. Maka is the last one to be fixed. I'm pretty sure about it. Everybody else is fixed. We're still waiting on doing the DNA test. We haven't done that yet. It's kind of expensive to be doing all that stuff for the animals. But, uh, she's the, the one that survived. Came from, up from, uh, Oklahoma so we rescued her she's doing really well apparently she has a lot of anxiety she does a lot of anxiety uh, when you're not here so we got to put her with the other dogs where she feels comfortable being around them you know she can't be left alone she'll eat the whole house Couches and all. <laughs> Anything she can get hold of. She don't like to be left alone. So we got to put her where the other dogs will play with her and keep her company. The dogs are all doing pretty good. They're all sleeping in the kitchen today. And the cat, of course, is hanging out on me. And me and Max sitting here. Max is watching cartoons on his tablet. And I'm watching Maleficent on TV. That's what I'm doing today. I'm kind of relaxing. We might go out to the secret house to take out some burnable stuff just to get it out of here and get it burned. We got a big fire pit out there. That's coming along really, really nice. So I can't wait to show you what we got done. Actually, what James got done. He's been putting whatever little bit of spare time he can into it. He's a go-getter like that. Always have been. <laughs> Are you on YouTube? Are you on YouTube? I put you on YouTube without your permission. See if I get in trouble for that. I'm always getting into some kind of trouble. Oh my. So apparently, I didn't know I'd never done an unboxing before. My very first one. I didn't ever think about it, that you would need to get permission from a company. So, maybe I'll have to I have some unboxing people that I'm subscribed to. Maybe I'll ask them what they do for theirs, you know. I, I think it's an awesome idea that people did unboxings and does a review on their YouTube channel. I think that would be great for a company. But apparently, this company was like, nope. Not allowed. <laughs> they made me remove it. Or further action would be taken. <laughs> so I did. I removed it. I do not normally delete videos. But that's two now. Out of all my videos I've ever done. I got like 300 or something. Or going on 300 videos. They're the only two that I ever deleted. Was the one I had the copyright strike. And the unboxing. Because I did that without prior permission. Tell me your thoughts. If you've ever done unboxings, tell me. Did you contact the companies first and ask them to, if you could have permission to do that? Or how you'd run about it? Or if you just did it? And I'd like to know. So, I lost the watch time. Because I had to delete those two videos. Now, I could have made them private. But I did not want to take... I did not want to take any chances on anything happening, so I just deleted them. And I'm fine with that. I have enough other videos out there. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done with my 100-day video challenge. I am so thankful. It has been hard. So today I'm just vlogging. But I'm going to let you go. Say bye, Bobby. Say bye.
Bye bye. Yep. I'm going to go back to watching my movie now. You all have a wonderful, lovely day. I thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and visiting me and staying on this long. I truly appreciate you. And listening to the ramblings of Rose. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day, guys. Love you. God bless.